Hello, I'm James Baker, the Business Director for Graphene. Welcome to Manchester, the home of Graphene. You are located here in the National Graphene Institute at the centre of the University of Manchester, a thriving centre for the research and development of applications of graphene and related 2D materials. So my name is Neil Ricketts, I'm the Chief Executive for a company called Viserian PLC. I'm Mehul Javda, I'm a research analyst at Morgan Advanced Materials. My name is Sarah Haig, I'm an academic working at the University of Manchester. Graphene has a huge range of applications because of its exciting properties. For example, you could use it in flexible electronics, so you can have a phone which, when you drop, doesn't break and it could even be completely transparent. Graphene presents a key area for us to develop our carbon-related products, but also Many of our other products across the group may benefit from the technologies being developed here at the National Graphene Institute. For us it's a key place in order to form these really, really good relationships, not only with the academics but also with people that are generally interested in the graphene scene. The types of facilities that we have here are really extensive, so we can offer microscopy, which is my particular focus, so we can understand the structure of the material, but we can also offer as a huge clean room, which allows us to measure electronic properties, to produce new types of graphene and understand how they work and how they could be potentially used in a wide range of different applications. By using the facilities that are available within the NGI, the testing equipment that wouldn't necessarily be available to small companies like ourselves, we can actually meet the demands of those really, really large companies that are starting to look towards this technology for their products. The work that we've been doing here is born out of over five or six years of um, strategic partnership by Morgan Advanced Materials with the University of Manchester, sponsoring PhD uh, studentships, postdoctoral researchers and also other larger projects. In addition to the National Graphene Institute, we have a second facility, the Graphene Engineering Innovation Centre, which will focus on the pilot production and the scale-up of graphene and 2D material applications. What we need now in order to be able to take graphene into real-world applications is to work with industry in order to find routes for commercialisation and optimisation of this technology. Let's stop imagining a graphene future and start creating it.